Get ready to match the stars from Comic Strip Live, Bruce Bow. From Mama's Family, Vicki Lawrence Schultz. Comedian, Brad Garrett. From the Hogan Family, Edie McClure. From You Take the Kids, Roger E. Mosley. And comedian, Pat Music as we play the all-new star-studded Match Game. And here's the star of Match Game, Rod Schaefer! Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us on Match Game. Thank you, Gene Wood. They're a rambunctious crowd today, aren't they? How's everybody? All right? We're good, good Russ. How are you? I'm fine. I had a very good hair day. Doesn't it look like? <laughs> <laughs> I gotta say, I saw somebody backstage. Day. Boy, it looks like you had a good hair day. Men never consider that. Well, you look Why very not? coiffed. A good I do? hair day? I don't know what that Which means. Which means some are good, some are bad. Well, yeah, I guess it did what they wanted it to do, so it's gone. It's fine. You have so, you Roger, you doesn't have to worry about this. You have a good hair day every day, don't you? That's right. <laughs> Now, don't fight me over this. No, I'm, I, I agree. No, you know, Roger does something that we should talk about. You have a, a remedial reading and learning center. And I'm learning center, for yes, the remedial you are. Reading and learning center, which is a big fight against literacy, illiteracy, which we Good. definitely yeah. need here. Oh, yeah. Good work. Okay, right, let's bring our contestants. Hi, Eric. Hi, Good to see you again. Yeah, thanks. Well, right, you have been, uh, <laughs> you have a lot of fans out there. Yeah. You've been chipping away at this money. <laughs> Three thousand and fifty dollars. It's not awful, is it? Thank you. No, no, no. Hi, Pamela. How are you? Now, tell us about yourself, will you? My name is Pamela Beach. I'm originally from North Carolina, and I'm a sales representative. Oh, you are. Yeah. Well, welcome to Match Game. Thank you. All right, let's get underway here. Every correct match on the show is worth fifty dollars. So, winner keeps his or her money and goes on to play Super Match for a shot at ten thousand. So, we'll start with you, A or B, Eric. A, please. Okay. Oh, this is kind of a long one. Kind of a kind of a barnyard one. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Weird Willie the Farmer has a busy schedule. Oh, How man. busy is it? <laughs> <laughs> I stand alone. Oh, I know. <laughs> <laughs> but thank you for your concern. Nice reading, though. During, uh, dur <laughs> thank you. During the week, he plucks his chickens. Well. But on the weekends, he plucks his blank. <laughs> Boy, this is tough. Do people mistake you for, for uh, is it David Crosby? Yeah, it's David Crosby they mistake me for. Yeah. I'm actually in the new movie, Marrakesh Express. Are you really? As David Crosby, sensitive artist. Hey, man, we can change the world. Or spoiled brat. Bust me, pig, and I'll be out before you can polish your badge. <laughs> what range? <laughs> oh, this is terrible. This is as bad as yours. <laughs> <laughs> now they've got their answers, Eric. Get it. I don't Weird Willie the Farmer has a busy schedule. During the week, he plucks his chickens. Then on the weekends, he plucks his... His eyebrows. His eyebrows. Right. <laughs> plucks his eyebrows, Bruce. Well, my gosh, look what I got him plucking. Hey, right. look at that, his eyebrows. Hey. <laughs> All right, Vicky. Oh, yeah, well, pluck this. <laughs> Everybody plucks their eyebrows. I said he plucks his nose hair. Oh, his nose hair. Yeah. Good answer. Good answer. Ooh. Ooh. Now, that hurts. That hurts. It makes me too. cry. <laughs> Brad? I'm weeping myself. This will you know, now see, I thought I cheated correctly, and then you change your answer. What? <laughs> I don't know what this means. I said chest. Plucks his chest? I'm not doing very well. You know, I think it was something it was something in that lunch, I'm telling you. <laughs> Plucks his chest. Plucks his chest? Ow! Oh my god. Oh. We're willing the farmer's a busy schedule. He plucks his chickens during the week, and then on the weekends he plucks his wants to look like like Ethel Marvin, her eyebrow. Hey. <laughs> Roger? Were you plucking your chest or eyebrows? No, it, on, on the weekends in Hawaii, trust me, this is true. I'll you pluck it. a duck. <laughs> You're not buying that, huh? All right. All right. All right. All right. But it's, on, it's in the barnyard. That's, that's why you thought of it in the past. That's right. See? Yeah. 
How about you, Pat? Well, my Aunt Edna grew up on a farm, and uh, she used to say that busy fingers make for a happy mind and a restful body, so she used to pluck her eyebrows. Oh, eyebrows. Hey. Upside down. Eyebrows. She used to go standing on her head. <laughs> okay, Pat, we'll see how you do. So was chest wrong, Ross? Well, yes, chest would be. <laughs> I would like a verdict, please, on this. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Her personal. Yeah, the judges say that uh, you can go home now. <laughs> okay. All right. okay. It's just me and that lonely fruit basket, huh? Yeah. That's right. yeah. Sometimes I talk to those grapes at night. <laughs> Caveman Kunga said... Kunga? Caveman Kunga. Mm. Yeah. Uh, my wife, <laughs> Big Betty Kunga... Uh. ...discovered fire by mistake. It happened when her blanks rubbed together. Is that a full moon or something? What is going on here? Wait a minute. My wife, Big Betty Kunga. She's a qua cave dweller. She's a cave dweller? <laughs> What is the, the rest of this piece of... Toss the... No, toss the toy. Is that what you said, toy? Will toin. you read the rest of the question yeah. here? <laughs> Big Betty Kunga discovered fire by a mistake. It happened when her blanks rubbed together. Oh. <laughs> okay. I Maybe I was just an answer early. Maybe that was my yeah. problem. <laughs> <laughs> You're, you're mentally... You're clairvoyant. I, am, I would like to know the answer, please. I okay. miss Charles. It's not the same. It's All not. Right. We miss you, Charles. Yeah, of course, Char he's going to be back next week. Oh, I know, but we miss you anyway, Charles. Caveman Kunga, ma'am, said, my, my wife, Big Betty Kunga, discovered fire by mistake. It happened when her... Breast. Her breasts <laughs> rubbed together. Can you say that? Bruce? Well, I figured this would explain the flare burns on her thighs. I put legs. Oh, legs. <laughs> Flare burns? Uh, I went for an alliteration kind of thing. There's no punchline. Is that cave talk? <laughs> <laughs> Vicky? Well, I, I, this is one of my pet peeves, when your thighs rub oh, together. Oh, when your thighs rub together. Yeah. Well, I didn't say chest because you can't use the same bad answer twice in a row. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rule here. Did you know? I said mandible, Ross. You know. <laughs> Look at Jean. Jean Reed. I said legs. And the legs. <laughs> legs and the legs rub together. Yes. All right, Edie. It happens when her what rub together? Oh, poor Betty. You know, it's when she get, get those control top things on. <laughs> you start rubbing them together, you can set off an explosion. It's a size. <laughs> It's because they're synthetic, you know, the synthetic. You get on yeah. a nylon rug, babe. Yeah, you got more power than a Hoover Dam. Don't you? Yes, sir. <laughs> Light up the sky, Starbucks. <laughs> All right, Roger. It was your look, Pam. You're such a nice looking lady. So we tried nice, wholesome answers. But I thought, maybe underneath there's a little. I got oh, close. I got close. Oh, but... Pat, we're still looking. We're still looking what for did the you word say, breasts Raj? here. Well, the thing of it was, she was carrying a big pan of stone soup across. It was so cold, and she was happy when she looked down and her thighs. And had her made thighs. Fun. Well, no match there at all. But we're early in the game. We're going to come back after these words and play matchups. Welcome back to match game. All right, at the end of the first round, our champ Eric has 150. Pam hasn't got a score yet, but we can change that. It's time to play matchup. This is where you can build up your score by playing against our clock. So since you're trailing Pam, we'll let you start first. Who do you want to play with? I'll pick Vicky. Okay. We'll show you some matchups. You pick what you think the best okay, answer is, is, and every time you and Vicky agree, you get $50. Oh, good. All right, let's put 30 seconds on our clock. Ready? Go. Jamie blank. Jamie Farr, Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Match. All blank. All thumbs, all fall down. Uh, all thumbs. No match. Frank blank. Frank discussion, Frank Sinatra. Frank Sinatra. Match. Caesar blank. Caesar salad, Caesar and Cleopatra. Caesar salad. Match. Public blank. Public library, public television. Uh, public library. That's a match. Cross blank. Cross stitch, cross country. Cross country. No match. <laughs> Ooh, out of time. <laughs> Eric, your turn. Who do you want to play with? 
Roger. Please. Roger. All right, remember now, $50 for every match. We'll put 30 seconds on our clock. Both of you ready? Go. Little blank. Little big man, little Bo Peep. Little big man. No match. Shake blank. Shake hands, shake your booty. Shake hands. No match. Hit the blank. Hit the jackpot, hit the trail. Hit the jackpot. Match. Bean blank. Bean bag, bean dip. Bean bag. Match. London blank. London bridge, London broil. London bridge. Match. Richard Blank, Richard Nixon, Richard Gear, Richard Nixon. Match. Medicine Blank, Medicine Show, Medicine Chest. Oh, oh. now the time. You're still in the lead here, Eric. 350 to 200. And we have a lot more match game after these messages. We are back. All right, uh, Pam, you're trailing now 200 to 350, so you're first. A or B? B. Okay, here we go. In the operating room, mm -hmm. the surgeon said that nurse must be a kleptomaniac. She just slipped a blank into her pocket. Oh, it's so hard. No, oh, this, this is a tough one. It's a hard one. All right, the other answer is Pam. All right, in the operating room, the surgeon said that nurse must be a kleptomaniac. She just slipped a scalpel. A scalpel into her pocket. A scalpel into her pocket. Bruce? Can I do one quick impression? I know Brad's the impression, sir. I only do one impression. Well, no, wait a minute. You did one, you did one before. Can I only do two impressions. Okay, you only do two. Okay. <laughs> this is this is Barbie searching for the man from Atlantis. Oh man! Oh man, where are you? Where are you? <laughs> yeah. To think, to think I spent hours in front of the mirror. Yeah. <laughs> Voice tapes, videos. But, but I think that's scalpel. Scalpel. Oh. I don't think there's a miniseries in that. Mickey? There are very strange things under this desk here. Oh, are there? <laughs> yes, it's very odd. I didn't think you knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Easy with that chair, Vicky. What are you, nuts? <laughs> so what did you say? Did you say well, what's she slipping in her pocket? Well, a scalpel sort of slipped by that's, me. That's I don't good. know. That'll work. My don't take that. Daddy, she slipped a gallbladder. A gallbladder. <laughs> <laughs> How about you, Brad? Now, I know you're trying not to look. I, I yeah. I, well, I said slipped a heart. A heart. Ooh. <laughs> slipped a heart. Ooh, wow. Oh, my. She's a kleptomaniac. She slipped a what into her pocket? Well, I'm in the organ meat family. Liver. Oh, a liver. <laughs> slipped a liver. <laughs> No, we're looking for a scalpel. Roger? Oh, I thought of all those, but I came up with scalpel. Right. Yeah. Uh-huh, Pat. Well, later when she went to get spare change to have a Coke, she impaled herself on her scalpel. Oh! <laughs> got three matches there. Three matches. Hey, did you guys hear this? No. What? Dumb Donald hurt his back. How? Oh. Yeah, it happened when he tried to sell blanks door to door. You got one there, Pat? No. All right, good. Okay. Dumb Donald hurt his back. Happened when he tried to sell blanks door to door. Cars. Cars? Yeah, cars. Cars. Car. Yeah. Automobiles. No? Tried to sell cars door to door. Bruce? Well, I went for some heavy, but I figured it hurt his back if he sold refrigerators. Refrigerators. Yeah. Door to door refrigerators. Vicki, after all the effort you went into this, answer. I've got a brain cramp. <laughs> There is something seriously wrong with me. Of course, we've known that for years. I had him selling weights. 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 Try to hold uh, that applause uh, down, please. Uh, muscle man. Wrong with that well, Brad, I said refrigerators, too. And you said also refrigerators. <laughs> no, we're looking for cars here. Happen to try to sell what? Door to door. Well, it's those things that you people grunt over. This is barbells. Oh, Bar see, I don't have a brain cramp. Mm -hmm. You people grunt over? Is that you how you describe? Yeah. You, you don't lift, lift weights. How about you, Roger? <laughs> Eric, I just knew you went to the spa and worked out. You yeah. just looked like the type. The weights. The weights. <laughs> uh, Pat? Well, as long as you can, like, pick up your own weight. Oh, you said dumbbell. you said dumbbell also. Yes, oh. that's me. Well, look at this. We have a tie score right now. It's time to play final matchup. Whoever's ahead at this end of this round will win the game. Chance to play for a possible 10,000. Eric, you're in the champ seat. You go first. Who do you want to play with? Uh, Brad, please. Okay, right. you and Brad. Good All point. right, this time matchups are worth $100, and we'll give you 45 seconds instead of 30. Get as many as you can. Ready? Go. Blank Doom. Temple of Doom, Gloom, and Doom. Temple of Doom. Match. Blank Arnold. 
Tom Arnold, Benedict Arnold. Benedict Arnold. Match. Blank bite. Love bite, frost bite. Love bite. Match. Blank of honor. Guest of honor, maid of honor. Guest of honor. No, no match. Blank farm. Funny farm, pepperidge farm. Funny farm. Match. Blank special. Midnight special, isn't that special? Midnight special. No match. Blank pressure. Under pressure, blood pressure. Under pressure. Match. Blank gloves. White gloves, boxing gloves. Boxing gloves. Match. Blank again. Think again, come again. Come again. No match. Blank shield. Desert shield, windshield. Desert shield. Match. Blank Tracy. Dick Tracy. Spencer Tracy. Dick Tracy. Match. Blank policy. Foreign policy. Foreign. <laughs> You and Brad got very serious on that. Pam, the work is cut out for you. Who do you want to play I with? I'd like to try Roger, please. All right, you and Roger. Okay. Oh, we can't, we can't go with Roger. Oh, he's already been chosen. Oh, right. Chosen. So it's a Bruce, Edie, or Pat's? Edie, please. Okay, Edie. $100 per match. To win the game, you have to beat 1150. Okay. Okay, we'll put 45 seconds on our clock. Good luck. Ready? Go. Blank signal. Traffic signal, smoke signal. Smoke signal. No match. Blank egg. Goose egg, hard-boiled egg. Hard-boiled egg. No match. Blank gallery. Rogues gallery, art gallery. Art gallery. Match. Blank letter. Red letter, capital letter. Red letter. No match. Blank road. Rocky road, Abbey road. Rocky road. Match. Blank hall. Long hall, U-Haul. U-Haul. No match. Blank fortune. Outrageous fortune. Soldier of fortune. Outrageous fortune. No match. Blank storm. Brainstorm, thunderstorm. Brainstorm. Match. Blank point. West point, to the point. West point. Match. Blank pack. Six pack. Wolf pack. Six pack. No match. Blank end. Book end. The end. The end. No match. Blank game. Out of time. You're the winner. Come back, Big Money Superman. Third time has got to be the charm, Eric. I know it. This is your third time here. We're going to go for the big money. Let's get the big money Let's this time. Wait, huh? Let's do All it. All right, now we're going to start with an audience match. We pulled a recent studio audience, got their best response to this. Blank throat. Now, if you can guess the most popular answer, you get $500. Second most popular answer, $300. Third best answer, $200. Get some help here from three stars. Vicky? Well, sorry. <laughs> uh, deep throat. Oh. Uh, well. Well. You must have read, it. You must have read about it. Something. All right. I've heard about it. Two more. Uh, Edie? I say sore throat. Okay, one more. Certain Bruce, please. Strep throat. <laughs> Strep throat. A lovely thought, isn't it? All right, well, strep throat, throat, sore throat, deep throat, or one of your own. I like sore throat. Sore throat. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see how well you have done, Eric. What is the $200 answer, please? Cut throat, oh. yeah? Oh, Ooh, wow. Ooh, good yeah. answer. They always do that when you go, why do you do that? $300 answer is deep throat. I think we got it. Oh, I think we got it. All right, Eric, we're holding out hope. Is sore throat the $500 answer? Please. <laughs> Good for you. Oh, boy. 500 means you're playing for 10 times that or 5,000. Double that amount with a great... Well, look at this. This is the giant throat lo lozenge coming down now. So get up there. This is the star wheel. Spin it. You know how this works. Let us know who you're going to play with, Eric. Go for the 10. Okay, $10,000, you're playing with Edie. To win all that money, you have to match her with an exact match. Please, no help from our audience. Edie, write down your answer for this. Gone blank. G-O-N-E, gone 
blank. Gone. Blank. He's got an answer, Eric. Have you got an answer? Gone with the wind. <laughs> Gone with the wind. $10,000, Edie. Can you match Gone with the wind? I'm afraid I went with the old Gone Fishing. Gone Fishing. Instead of just fishing. It got away from me again, Eric. <laughs> it's all right. We'll take a short break. We'll take a short break. Come right back and total up how much money you have. OK? That's right, Eric. That Eric's got, that's the way to look at it. He does a slow build. Get that slow build going for you, and you have $4,700. That's not awful at no, all. No, not at all. Thank no. you. <laughs> you get to come back on our next show. I would love to. You'll still, of course you will. We hope you'll join us on our next match game, too, folks. Bye-bye. Until next time. Speaking for Match Game, a Mark Goodson television production.